natural resources and wildlife. In this topic, we are going to see the natural vegetation of India and wildlife and its conservation. Due to variety of climate, the country India is blessed with different types of vegetation. Tropical Rainforest The forests are found in western Ghats, northeastern states which has heavy rainfall and consist valuable species like teak, ebony, bamboo, sandalwood, rosewood and rubber trees. Tropical Deciduous Forest The growth of this deciduous forest is affected by seasonal temperature and rainfall which are found mostly in the peninsular plateau. Teak, Sal, Shisham, Neem and Mango are some species of the area. Thorn and Scrub Forest Low rainfall give rise to the thorny grass, scrub, bushes, cactus and trees like date palm and bamboo which cover the area of Rajasthan, Gujarat, parts of Punjab and Haryana. Tidal Forest Sundarban Deltaic region exhibits such type of mangrove forest which are evergreen, mountainous vegetation. Along the altitude of Himalaya tropical to tundra layers of vegetation can be seen. At foothill region, tropical deciduous vegetation like sal can be seen. At a little higher level oaks, chestnut and again upward pine, cedar, deodar are the main species while above 4500 meter there is no vegetation. Let us try to know how to conserve these forests. Forests help in bringing rainfall and control floods and soil erosion. The forests are both productive and protective. Trees need time to grow and quick generation is not possible. Again, depletion of forest affected the wildlife too. Hence, these forests need conservation. Government as well as people should pay attention towards these suggestions. Prevention of diversion of forest lands for other purposes. Check over reckless cutting of forest. Check over shifting practice of cultivation. Forest fire control. Afforestation. Now we are going to the wildlife. Animals, birds and other organisms which live in natural habitat and are interdependent and a part of food chain are known as wildlife. Dense equatorial forest, swamps and grasslands are the ideal homes for a great variety of animals. Elephants, wild buffaloes, monkey, hippopotamus, pythons and rhinoceros habitat the equatorial forest areas and swampy lands. Stag, deer, zebra and giraffe are the animals found in grasslands. Deserts have camels and ostriches. Wild animals, birds are hunted for meat, bones, skin, tusks etc. on a large scale which leads to the extinction of Sohn's wild organisms. South America is rich in many species of birds, candor, rie, owls are some birds, while monkeys, squirrels, snakes, pythons, puma, jaguar are specific animals available there. Many of the animals from Australia continent carry their young ones in the pockets of skin on the mother's pocket, which are known as marsupials while some lay eggs but feed milk to young ones. Hence, kangaroo and platypus are characteristic animals of Australia. Lyrebird, emu, kookaburra are some characteristic birds of Australia. North America exhibit animals 
like polar bear, grizzly bear, caribou, spotted owl, bald eagle, and whooping crane. India also is a rich country in relation to wildlife. Tigers, elephants, rhinoceros, lions, hippopotamuses, antelopes are largely found in the respective area. For example, lions in Gur forest, tigers in Sundarban area, etc. Let us conserve this wildlife. Due to cut down of the forest, wildlife is losing their natural habitat. Hunting must be controlled as it leads to extinction of some species of animals and birds. National parks, biosphere reserves and zoological parks are to be set up to safeguard the wildlife. Summary Natural growth of plant life is the natural vegetation. Vegetation is affected by the amount of sunlight and amount of rainfall. Tropical evergreen forests are found in the areas of heavy rainfall and abundant sunshine. Savanna grasses are rough, tough and tall. Temperate grasslands are known in different areas, different areas by different names like prairies in America, steppes in Russia, pampas in Argentina, etc. Along altitudes, the Himalayan ranges exhibit different layers of vegetation from tropical to tundra. The forests are both productive and protective. Dense equatorial forests, swamps and grasslands are ideal homes for variety of animals. Reckless hunting and loss of their dwellings are responsible for extinction of wildlife.